This is how I've changed the rear brake discount pad. I just showed my way how I did mine. Now feel free to follow it, but I don't take no responsibility if anything happens. Just be careful when you're doing this sort of job. If you're not sure, just get some professional advice to get your job done. Guys, check this out. Hey guys, so welcome to a new vlog, right? In today's vlog, I will be changing my rear brake disc and pad on my 2002 BMW 530D. So you can see that the rear brake pad is pad and the disc. So I already ordered the disc and pad. Brembo, of course, good quality brakes. I will show you the tools that you need to get this job done. Right, I, sh I should also mention this, normally the rear brake pads, they do come with sensor, but it's actually on the driver side, not on the passenger side. You're going to see that I would be doing the passenger side rear brake disc and pads. It's the same thing on for the other side, except you just have to change the sensor on the other side. I will show you how you change the sensor on the driver's side once I'm done. First thing I'm going to do is, of course, jack up the car. And before doing that, I'm going to lose up the wheel and then jack up the car so it's easier for me to take the wheels off once the car is up in the air now we're just gonna remove the locking nuts and get the wheels off so what i'm gonna do is i will put this in the safe place so i know where i've kept them so let's go ahead and let's get the wheels off so you can see the brake disc is a bit worn, just needs changing and the pad I would say it's still got 20 to 30 percent left but I will just get it changed anyways. What we're gonna do first is of course remove the cap behind here, there's two cap, one here and uh, one down here. So these are the two cap. see that's been pushed back now I'm gonna take this bracket off
right so we're on the driver's side of the car uh, regarding the brake sensor you can see it's only on one side which is driver's side let me show you how you can get it replaced it's very easy just uh just follow how it was before now you can see i mean i've already replaced this that's the new one and if you just follow this white line you can see there's one hub there then there's another one pointed out then it goes there it's all the way here where it's connected let me show you so you can see in here brake sensor cable so it just uh it's like a clip that's where it clips in it's a very easy thing to do you can just follow the wearing and uh, just get it replaced that's the rear pads and uh, that's the clip inside there the way you do it is it just clips in just like that done see very easy Now this is something you should do once the brakes are done, which is get inside your car and pump the brake. Now, don't forget to do this. This is a very important thing to do. It's got to pump it and keep pumping it. If the brake goes to the floor, that means you don't really have any brake. Anyways guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, just do make sure to press the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And I will see you for next time.